Hey there, internet. So I uh, bought myself a new, well, not only did I buy myself a new printer, but I bought myself a new hot end for my new printer. This is the Sapphire Pro. I got it on Amazon for 200 bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal. The hot end is complained about in almost all the reviews. I didn't actually find it that bad, but because of that, I had at the same time I ordered the printer, I ordered this hot end, and I made a new bracket up here. Uh, the old bracket was two millimeter aluminum and it was very easy to bend. So I made this out of some steel tubing, that's 1.5 millimeters. So it should be about two, a little more than two times more rigid. So I'm doing the clipper pressure advanced tuning for the B B B BQ, I guess that's how you say that, the BQ H2. And I don't know why, but when I was researching this uh, hot end slash extruder combination, I, I was confused by this jargon here. And, uh, you know, I, I guess this is one of my biggest complaints about printer reviews is the... Um, that's an image. I can't select that. But the uh, they never really talk about the flow, the maximum flow rate. And I guess one of the reasons that they don't talk about it is that it's it's really somewhat uh, dependent on a bunch of other parameters. So, uh, there's this great calculator. This is probably a really great hot end. This is probably what I should have bought, this Nova hot end. Uh, it's 60... Uh, 60 cubic millimeters per second, which is pretty crazy. Um, this is 600 cubic millimeters per minute, which is really only 10 cubic millimeters per second. So this uh, this this particular hot end has 10 times more flow, which is, if you want to print fast, that's the thing. Now, in the background here, I'm printing, and, uh, you know, you can see that I'm hitting some pretty high speeds. You also see that the flow is, uh, is, is pretty high. And, and so actually let's just jump in here. I'll just show you the flow view. I'll flow. Here we go. So I, uh, was editing the video. I was taking some shots of the really crappy extrusion under extrusion. And then I noticed that I had the speed set to 200. So yeah. I mean, everything I'm about to say is true, but uh, I slice this quite a bit slower. So um, uh, take take that for what it's worth. Um, it's printing now, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to show kind of the side by side of the under extruded, you know, ridiculous 200% versus what it's doing now, which is the uh, the 100%, which uh, again, I, sh I showed the inner walls should be the 12.6 uh, flow rates, but the outer walls should actually be something that should work correctly. So you you'll see that uh, a bit later in the video. Apologies for not noticing that earlier. But anyway, let's continue with the original commentary. So you can see here that our outer wall we're maxing out at 12.6, which is above the spec of the extruder. So what's, what's happening is the, the filament is, is in the, in with this peak acceleration right here in the middle, the filament is actually, it's, it's not, it's, it's under extruding. Um, maybe I'll insert a little image of the finished print in post here. But anyway, um, if you want to see what your nozzle is actually a capable of doing as far as speeds, um, this 3D Passion slash Nova has a little calculator here. So you can pop in your parameters. All right, the maximum we can extrude a 0.3 millimeter layer is 83.3 millimeters per second. Now, this thing's chugging at about 150 millimeters per second. I want to go faster. So I actually think this hot end is not for me if I want to really go fast. And if I want to go with a larger nozzle, like a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, you know, I'll really have to tone down my printing speed. Now, I, I have to test this a little more. I have my the stepper on 16x stepping. I, it really doesn't need that. I probably could go with 
you know, for, for micro stepping, four X micro stepping, because the, re, the reducer is a seven to one reducer. So you're probably just flooding the, you're flooding the MCU here, uh, with a whole bunch of steps that just really aren't necessary for the resolution you need for the extruder. This is, this isn't fast enough. The flow rates are off. And for some reason, I saw the 600 number and I thought, wow, that's, that's amazing. But I didn't notice it was per minute and not per second. And when you, maybe part of the reason for that is when you're doing regular CNC stuff, everything's really min millimeters per minute, not per second. So this, uh, this one thing really f threw me off. As far as the rest of the, 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 the extruder, it's, it seems to be pretty well made. I, I've seen some of the other complaints that the stepper gets loose. It's, it's, it also says here that this isn't actually a Nemo 14. So I, I don't know where you get a replacement stepper. There's no registration for the stepper position, which means that there's no registration for how the gears interface. And I guess the, the other thing I'll point out is that there was no lubrication on the gear whatsoever. Now, this little hand wheel here, this is super handy for how you need to load the extruder. And you don't want a bunch of grease on that when you have to, you know, every time you want to, you know, turn this gear to, to feed new filament, then you're going to get your a thumb full of grease. But uh, maybe there, maybe there's some kind of, you know, integrated lubricant type gears. They don't really say anything about that. So uh, it is a big question mark as to how long they're going to last with no lubrication. Yeah. So there you go. I think, um, I think it's a good system. I think it needs something like this. So I put, I think I paid 70 bucks. I found a coupon for this for 70 bucks. And then by the time you add something crazy like this, you know, you're, you're way up there. Um, I guess I could put a different heat block on it, but I, I, I don't know how much that stepper can actually, assuming you put a bigger thing on there. It, it, it's okay. I think it needs a different heat block to go really fast. And then even if I put a different, I mean, here's the, here's the nightmare. I, I spent a lot of time redoing the, uh, the mount here. And, um, I don't know. I just feel like everything, I, I, there's so many things went wrong when I did that. I feel, I feel like if I change this heat block, something's going to get screwed up and I'm going to regret it. But anyway, it, it, it's a good, it's a good extruder system. It's very small and compact. The, the, the filament path is really short, which I think is highly desirable. Uh, it just doesn't have enough chooch on the old heater block. So, uh, Hope that helped you out if you were thinking about buying one of these and uh, thanks for watching.